you're in the vent. Oh, hello. I cannot see you there, but I left you something. What do you mean? <laughs> hi. So, hi everyone, my name is... Oh, my eye, okay. Hi everyone, my name is Blankard, and today we're playing FNAF Help Wanted once again. Uh, of course I'm gonna play it until I actually finish it. I don't think that I'm gonna do a run where I try to get every single coin. Because I have 21 more to go, but uh, old joke. I should stop that. It's a classic. I like the what's nine plus ten twenty one. You know, <laughs> but yeah, uh, FNAF one. Last time we completed FNAF one, and did I do the? I think I did night five. I'm fairly sure I did the night five. No, I did not. I didn't do the night five, and I'm not gonna do it in this episode. In this episode, we are gonna play Five Nights of Freddy's 2 Help Wanted. That sounds like Five Nights of Freddy's Help Wanted 2, but I mean, like, you know, the game Five Nights of Freddy's 2 in Five Nights of Freddy's Help Wanted. I guess that's better, but where is the fucking bunny? Like, I'm kind of concerned about that, like, where did he go? Yeah, he's not above me, he's... As far as I know, he can be only in this area, he cannot go over there or anything like that. Are you over at the price counter? I mean, I can't hear you, so I'm guessing you're not here. I should really try to play this game on PC. I mean, I can, but it's kind of... It's harder to set it up, but... I mean, let's go then. Okay, so what are the controls for this bullshit? Uh, okay, press buttons. Wear mask. I don't know how, but we'll see. Survive until 6 a.m. Like always. Okay. I'm actually really surprised how fast these things load in. Uh, hello. Where's the mess? Hello, hello. Uh, I'm hello, just gonna have to go. Welcome to your new summer job at the new Where and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see okay. during your first week here. That's gonna be to a problem. Get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant Where is was the kind of fucking... left to rot for quite a while. But, oh, yeah, uh, there's I want the to lighting. You, oh. Fatbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into oh, some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy right. finished his week but complained about oh. conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, I didn't know what I was doing. Right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Okay. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor 
glitch in the system, something about the robot saying he was an endoskeleton without his costume on oh. and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've oh. given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quartz oh. modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to, uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, that was a really fucking long dialogue. Uh... No, don't you fucking go in that fucking vent, motherfucker. That goes where? That goes, I'm guessing, to my right side. Oh, shit. <laughs> I've forgotten so much about Fire Nights of Freddy's 2. I totally forgot that there was, like, this light system. Uh, you're in the vents. Oh, hello. I cannot see you there, but I left you something. What do you mean? <laughs> Hi. Oh shit. What do you do about the chick I forgot? I know that for the bunny... Oh, he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna... I mean, she's gonna do something that I don't like. I'm just gonna check that for her now, from now on. Oh, I can see her eyes. That's something. Oh, she's in the vents. Hi. Uh... Oh, no. I wanna keep an eye on you. I don't know where Bunny is though. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, uh, fuck this music box. Okay, where is Bunny? Did she... Uh, he... I don't... Okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a lot worse than any other fucking... Five Nights of Freddy's in VR. But... I did figure out the loophole in this game. You can play Five Nights of Freddy's 2 without even looking at the cameras or using the lights. You can just use your ears and that's more than enough. You just need to be ready to grab the mask whenever you can. Uh, the only camera you actually need to check is the music box thingy. Oh yeah, they are gonna start moving now, I'm guessing right. And you do need to use the light for the foxy. Forgot about that. They should, like, describe the rules a bit more specifically. Also, I didn't, like... Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, hello, motherfucker. Your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Sure uh, about that, fuck sure you. I'm sure you noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location. We can get them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, 
and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. You might hold it in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might carry it over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that public thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy Mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna use my strategy where I just check the lights from time to time. What? Why are you coming at me, motherfucker? Go away, motherfucker. Go away. I know you're there. I can't remember how to get rid of him. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh. You were also there. Good to know. second they got confused I don't know what to do when the foxy comes up I think you just need to shine the light in his face and that should be enough oh mangles there mangles also moving okay today. Mango still there. Oh no! what to do about him. was getting really active in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can't really commentate what I'm actually doing this because I'm focusing so much on everything that's going on, you know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Eat the goddamn toy. Uh, okay, so that was... Night two, uh, you have black eyes, I don't like that. What do you do about the Freddy, the toy Freddy to be more exact? Uh, when the fucking old Freddy comes, then if I remember correctly, you just have to use the mask. 
maybe, maybe not, we'll see. We'll just have to figure it out and learn. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die in night 3. And also I can't remember what to do about the mangle, because the mask doesn't work on mangle as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. What you want, mate? Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't have any problems. Did, uh, Foxy ever repair the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Uh, like it I is. said, he was always my favorite. They tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly instead of in kid's cove. Mm. To keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together in the every ship. Eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take apart, put back together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any stories you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Okay. So... Mangle's gonna be more active this time around. Oh, hello, motherfucker. You motherfucker coming in that room, motherfucker? Where this room went for me. Oh, hello. Shoo. Goodbye. I really don't know how to, what to do when the mango shows up, I guess. Hmm? <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> the buttons are. Oh, what are you doing? Shoo! Go, go, go away! Oh boy! Hi. Oh no. I'm guessing that the fox is behind him. I'm not sure. Hello. Hi. Okay. The motherfucker's gone. I'm just gonna shine the light from time to time because I have no idea. Oh, mango stick. Hi. I'm not sure what to do when the mango comes in. Do I, do I wear the fucking mask or what do I, what? Okay, mango's gone, mango's gone. I'm guessing Mangle doesn't like light as well. That's that's just my guess. That's something I can test because I mean, when I see Mangle next time around hang up on there, I can just shine the light in his I mean her face. Okay. Oh, hello. You motherfucker coming over here again. Oh my. Wasn't I was not expecting that. I did not hear it. I know you're over there, but is the foxy behind you? So what? Why? Why can't I? Oh. Why? 
die, motherfucker. I haven't seen Chica surprisingly. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Oh, okay, that was night three. It w actually, I think night three wasn't as bad as night two, <laughs> honestly. The only stressful part about night three was the mango. Get out of here! I can fucking eat you. You're doing a Hit great job, noise. and no doubt having a great time as well. Okay. As a reminder, please be sure to only interact with core gameplay elements, and avoid anything that could potentially be considered a glitch, mistake, or embedded message from unauthorized personnel. Why should you say that? Night 4. There was also two extra nights in Five Nights of Freddy's 2, yep. Okay. Night four. Yay. Not. Mm -mm. I honestly am not waiting for it at all. But before we go on, I have a Discord server, if you didn't know. Hi everyone, and you heard me correctly. I have a Discord server now, and it's available for you to join in the description or in the comments. And like I said in my last video, my server is called bankers and there's a lot of things you can do there's ranks that you can basically you know you can chat and occasionally rank up and when you hit rank three you can start sending pictures and some other things and there's also announcements it's a lot better alternative to youtube to get announcements whenever I should uh, stream or upload a video. There's also giveaway announcements and yes, I am planning to do a giveaway really, really soon. So if you want to enter the giveaway, I recommend you join the Discord server because like I said before, it's a lot better and quicker way to receive announcements. There's also general chat, some other things, polls, and some voice rooms where we maybe be able to occasionally hang out maybe i'm not giving any promises but anyways yeah that's it enjoy the rest of the video okay let's go on then uh, <laughs> uh, hey there night nice four i thought you'd get the hang of it Okay, so uh, just to update you, uh, there's what still somewhat of an investigation oh, going on. Uh, we may end up having to close for a few days. I don't know. Uh, I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Uh, Badger Entertainment denies any wrongdoing. These things happen sometimes. Um, it'll all get sorted out in a few days. Just keep an eye on things, and I'll keep you posted. Uh, just as a side note, though, uh, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronic side if you can. Uh, someone may have tampered with their facial recognition systems, we're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual, almost aggressive towards the staff. Uh, they interact with the kids just fine, but so when they encounter an adult, they just stare. Uh, anyway, hang tight, we'll all pass. Good night. Hello. Already? Okay. How do I avoid Hi. looking in their eyes then? Because... I mean, their faces are so fucking big. I'm gonna try to use the corners of my eyes then for these things. Okay, that motherfucker is incoming. Freddy incoming! Um, Bunny as well, fuck. I haven't seen Chica for quite some time, what's that about? Okay. 
look at his feet or his hand, his beautiful fucking hand. Fuck it up, motherfucker's not coming in. Right now, oh, he's coming in. 3 a.m., awesome. Chica, anyone? That music is gonna drive me nuts, like, I swear to god. It's still 3 a.m. Oh, no. Oh, my. Don't look at his eyes. Okay, that's what you do when Mango comes in. Okay. Freddy and come in. Oh, you are close as hell. Oh, I didn't see ya. Bunny and come in. are getting a lot better though. I haven't seen any of the... I, I mean, I haven't seen the old bunny, so... I don't know what that's about. Okay, it's really active right now. I'm trying to fuck you away. <laughs> that, that came out weird. Uh... What? 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 Oh, what was that big clunk clunk? I don't know. It sounded really close to me, so I'm guessing it was in vents, maybe mangle. But. What the fuck is this? Not to that age. Oh, you're back. Where the fuck were you? Take a candy. Uh, okay. Next up, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and that should be the worst one out of the first three games. In Help Wanted, at least. IRL, it wasn't that bad. Uh, I mean, IRL. <laughs> I mean, the actual game, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, wasn't that bad. It was actually kind of easy. Uh, and there's also this thing. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Uh, like I said before, I have a Discord server now. It should be available in the description down below. I recommend to join the Discord server because YouTube, from my experience, is a bit, little bit slow when it comes to announcements. And Discord is, is a lot better alternative, so to say. Um, there's more candy over here. Take some. <laughs> I'm sorry about that gr grudge shot, but... So yeah, I have a Discord server now. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this, or if you want to see any other VR titles like Blade and Sorcery. To be more exact than Blade and Sorcery Nomad, I don't have the PC version, I just have the Blade and Sorcery Nomad version, which, which is basically 
Oculus or standalone version of Nomads. I mean, Blade and Sorcery. I also have Bone Lab and some other really awesome games. And if you want me to play them, then just let me know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you like my this type of content. And if you like this video, then give a like. But the dislike also works, but if you did dislike, then let me know in the comments down below why you disliked. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and bye.